Hey everyone, it's Sarah here doing my 37 week pregnancy vlog. How exciting, he's finally full term so he can be born any day now and be healthy enough to survive in the outside world. I can't believe it. Um, I said in the last video that I thought he dropped. He has dropped at my midwife appointment last week. He was actually two fifths engaged, so his little head was two centimetres in my pelvis, which I could pretty much tell that he dropped because more well, the pressure that I could feel and now there's even more pressure so I, I don't even know how engaged he is at the moment. I won't plan out until next week because my, that's my next midwives appointment, 38 weeks. Um, I thought that I'd be going every week from here on out but she said that because I have such a textbook pregnancy and everything's going great that she doesn't need to see me until 28 weeks. So she just said go home and get ready for baby boy. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I did the group strep B test, the little swabby thing, which was great. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Lovely. Um, but I get the results back to that sometime this week. So find out whether I have strep B or not. Um, hopefully not. But she told me that if I do, she said it's um, like a certain percent of pregnant women, like people have it and they don't even know that they have it. Pregnant women just have to know, so they have to um, take their antibiotics when they go into labour just so the baby doesn't get it. Um, so I'll find out this week. Um, I had put on half a kilo, so I'm now 67 kilos. She said that's normal at the end of the pregnancy not to put on as much weight because I don't know, she didn't really explain, she just said it's normal, so um, that was all good. Um, for those of you in America, I think 67 kilos adds up to about 147 pounds, I think, 148 pounds, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I think that's about right. So, um, listen to Baby Boy's Heartbeat and everything was fine. Um, he's still head down, obviously, um, and he's getting so big now that when he elbows me, absolutely kills. His little bum's like still rubbing on my ribs. Even though he's dropped, he's still like pretty big. And I'm only short, so um, yeah, I'm all out the front, <laughs> pretty much. Um, what else has been happening? I've been able to sleep really, really well the last week. Um, I don't know what it was before that was like stopping me from sleeping but now I just hit the pillow and I'm asleep straight away. Still getting up to pee a lot but <laughs> as soon as I lay back down I'm back asleep straight away so that's good. Um, what else has been happening? Um, I think any heartburn still. Um, not really, it's not really that bad. Sometimes it is worse than other times but it hasn't been that severe. Um, what else? Midwife um, said that everything's going great. Um, I don't know. The last week has been really like nothing really been happening. Just waiting for him, I guess. Playing the waiting game. Um, can't wait to meet him. I hope, I hope he can't wait to meet me either. Um, boobs are still leaking. Like they've been leaking a lot, a lot lately. Been having to change my breast pads quite a bit. So. That's lovely, but it's good. Hopefully, it's a good sign because I'll be able to breastfeed. Um, I think I might have to make a part two video because I've been getting a, a few questions from people asking me why I talk about the baby's father and why I'm single and why he's not in my videos and stuff like that. So um, I'll basically just I'll try and make it as quick as I can because it's pretty probably pretty boring for you guys. But for those of you who want to know. Um, I was in a relationship from the time I was 14 till I was eight and a half. We were together for four and a half years. Um, very much in love, very happy until we, it ended really, really badly. So after it ended, I decided that I was just going to be single. Um, forget about guys. I actually went on a holiday to New Zealand. Um, had an absolutely great time. I bungee jumped, which was really scary, but it was fun. Um, and just had a great time. Came back to Australia 
and decided that it was time to find myself and figure out what I want from life. So I came back to Australia and did my thing. I was single for two years when my friend Karina rang me up and said, okay, it's time um, to get back out there and meet someone. <laughs> She's like, I'm coming to get you in 20 minutes. So um, she came and picked me up and we went to a club and I was introduced to a guy. He was charming, good looking, funny, smart, um, just thought he was excellent pretty much. He was 27. So he was seven years older than me, I was 20 at the time, he's now 28. Um, and we just got along so, well, like, so excellently. It was just, I don't know what it was, but there was just something about him. Um, he told me that he was married, but he was separated, and then he had a four-year-old daughter. He showed me photos of her, she was gorgeous. I thought that this guy was just tops, okay. Um, we exchanged phone numbers and from that night on we spoke every single day. We um, spent every weekend together. I was a bit more reserved because I had been hurt in the past so I didn't actually fall in love head over heels like he did. But after we were dating for about a month he actually asked me to move in with him. So I thought that, that was taking things way too fast. So I said no, let's just get to know each other a bit better and then see what happens. <coughs> so he asked me to go to Bathurst with him, which was which is a three hour drive from Sydney. It's like a little small country town. Um, for his brother's excuse me, his brother's thirtieth birthday party and to meet his family. So I was like, okay. So we went along and I met his family and they were wonderful, just like him. And um, so, um, so wait, where was I? So I met his family, they were great. Um, then about a month later I found out I was pregnant. So I was very shocked and excited. He was more just shocked, I think. <laughs> um, we decided to move in together, we got an apartment together and um, we were just trying to make things work I guess. Um, he was actually going to propose to me but I said no, like no, because um, that's what he had done with his ex-wife, she got pregnant with his daughter and so they got engaged and got married and that didn't turn out too great so I just thought let's just wait and see 